I actually emptied my snack container a while ago, so it's time to refill it. Yes, some of the, someone is very excited. Okay, that should be enough for now. So what we do is this. Come here. Come here. There we go. That's one doggo. Come here. Doggo. And this is other doggo. Up. Up. Other. Come here. Ah, okay. Here is other doggo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> and we'll give them one more thing, just because they're nice. Alma, what's out? Good dog. Alma, <laughs> good dog. Yeah, these are my dogs, Mozart and Alma. Treats confirmed. How are a dog and two cats handling each other? Did they grow up together? Uh, yeah, that guy. What else is interesting here? Bowl of breakfast. Uh, how old are they? Look, oh, there's been a shootout at the East Tech. Okay. That's a supernova in your face. I don't know, don't try to help the video again. <laughs> yeah, uh, Mozart does that a lot. He humps everything. To Nibblefinger Cullen, I met here last cycle, took your advice, and I'm heading to Stimtown to make a name for myself. Sorry, I don't remember yours. Kisses. Those are toilets. Exposed to the outside. <laughs> I turned off your machine. Um, what's uh, down here? Snacks. Oof. Lucky Dan. I lose. Oh, another side mission. Your plumes aren't run around you, seen you around, I'm Antin. Uh, what are your pet names? Got an errand for you, if you're interested, just some fact-finding. Great, this is what this is what gives. Dog is four, the cats are like seven. Did they come in together? I need to find a kin of mine, last seen in transit to the morgue. Ugh. Yes, of course he's dead. What do you think, I'm stupid? She's dead and her corpse is gone and it's a freaking tragedy. Uh, honestly, I love my dogs, but handling too is difficult. It's it's uh, it's work. She's dead and her corpse is gone but, and it's a freaking tragedy. First my buddy Tim joins 8 co so I never see his sorry ass again, and then Undina goes and freaking croaks. But I can't mourn her, because I ain't got nobody to mourn over. How can I recycle what ain't there? These <laughs> at the most say they never even got her in the first place. But that's a complete crock, because I freaking made sure the hospital sent her to get her post-mortem and all that. 
Had some insurance to cash in on, and yeah, that's a freaking mess right now. But with nobody. Anyway, I need someone of your stature to go talk to them corpse assholes. Maybe check the database. I do it myself, but I'm a freaking Carlin. What is intimidating as a shit stinger. You find a dealer's body, I get insurance payout, you get a cut. That's it. Simple. Let me know what you find. Okay. Bubble trouble. I'll go talk to Poon, then we'll see about more side quests. Wait. Oh, that's a bartender. Do you have any bounties? To nah, I need to find bounties before I do them. Anyway, do you know this game? Do you know The Ascent? It came out yesterday. The senior idiots. Oh, look at you. Positively bristling with ambition and a taste for mindless violence. Just what I need. <laughs> My PA before was pure bullshit. This is a crisis supernova. The Ascent Group has collapsed. Our ecology's gone into default, and we've lost contact with the board. Why is the Twitch app not saying I'm live? There we go. Uh, okay. What's about it? Only, only that it got 6 out of 10 in GameSpot. Honestly, I expected a lot, and I'm kind of getting a little disappointed at least. There's, there's... I'm running into issues. Not that I expect those six suits to be able to unfuck this situation in any meaningful way. No one is getting paid, and Corpsec will soon realize that they're risking their necks for exactly zero Eucharists. But I do like uh, Diablo-like with firearms, so we'll see. Can expect security to implode before the cycle is over. The Ascent Group AGI suddenly went quiet. That's never happened before. So the market went apeshit and forced the Ascent Group into immediate bankruptcy. Now all local SIs are operating independently. Hundreds of optimizer protocols fighting for the same scraps. Still by BNJ? What is BNJ? We gotta see nutrient and energy shortages within just a few cycles. Thousands of Hebbers here will suffer. Am I painting a bleak enough picture for you? We are mutually dependent on the neighboring clusters for food, energy, oh. <laughs> Um Look, as I as far as politics go, I don't really care. I still like the ice cream, but I'm trying to keep to stay off sugar. So it pains me to say this. But it looks like we're gonna have to cooperate our way out of this epic mess. I actually went by the the freezer for Ben and Jerry's uh, when I was shopping today, and I was looking for the low sugar options, and they didn't have it, so I didn't get anything. <laughs> the other stack bosses have agreed to meet. They're a bunch of incompetent hard noses, so don't get your hopes up. Golda is an ice cream shop? But I don't see any other options. And my imp won't shut up about this being the only way forward. I want you to handle security for the moot. I think I saw one. I think I think there's a new one in, in my city. I don't think I've ever tried it. But actually, there is a very nice uh, ice cream shop just a block down the street from where I live. So I go there a lot. <laughs> Maybe too much. In a crisis like this, you can always expect to see a few witless wonders stepping up to bat. The Turbo Vipers are already trying on a protection racket so stupid it defies comprehension. Uh, yeah, so I think I saw one in my city. I'll, I'll check it out next time I have a chance. Questions? Shoot. Turbo Vipers! They're threatening to attack the meeting, and I want you there if they do. The latest cream of the scum crop out there. With everything going on, they're seeing an opportunity to strengthen their stock. But I won't allow that on my watch. Can't give in to the imbeciles. Default mode? Yeah. So with the corporation gone to put, ownership of the arcology is in flux. The other corporations will be sending in CGTs to grab what they can. We're like an AUG-6 stiff right now, soon to be hacked up for parts by a bunch of greedy grafters. Corpsec? All payouts, including yours, I might add, have been halted due to the bankruptcy. 
But I'm hoping it'll be a little while before Corpsec realize the magnitude of this disaster and leave their posts. Shortages? It's all very clever. No single cluster is self-sufficient. You're smart enough to figure out why. If I can reach an agreement with the other bosses, I believe we have a fair shot at getting through this. Ascent group collapse? Considering the way things have been falling apart these last few months, we should have seen it coming. But yeah, this is the largest corporate collapse yet on Velis. Uncharted territory. Board? I expect they're busy ejecting themselves from this mess and assigning blame to everyone else. First they run the entire corporation into the ground, and then they shut themselves into the sky view levels. But they still need supplies. Chocolate pretzel ice cream. I'll try and remember that. I like chocolate and I like pretzels. But I guess that's what you can expect from a bunch of greedy forms. Let's go. All right, enough questions. First, I need you to go to the grinder and scout ahead. Oh, and you'll need to gear up. Won't just be facing deep sink ferals anymore. Talk to my man Clobber. He'll set you up. Feel free to flatline any slag-headed turbo viper just looking at you sideways. Here, good. Let's get this show on the road. Side missions. There are plenty of people on Velus looking for help. Accept optional missions by talking to people with the side mission icon. Cho choose what mission to track by setting it as active in the journal on the map and mission tab M. More people will be looking for help over time. So of course, the first thing we do is a side mission. Overcharge kills. Using stasis overcharge. Level 7. Yeah, let's try something that's my level. Go to the node, find Marie. Merle. Mutual dependencies. Uh, are you Merle? He must be Poon's latest pet project. He won't use stop by. Looks like you picked up gear from a Warren's garbage dump. An upgrade is definitely in order. Here, I've sent you markers for a grafter, an armor guy, and a weapons dealer. Check in with them and get some polish on your frame. This is your lucky day, because I'm also going to give you a handout. A little something to get you started. Courtesy of Poon. And please try to exceed my non-existent expectations by not spending it all on snooze and chrome dome bets. Off you go. You gave me money? 12,000! Nice! Yeah, I need to get out of here and go to the node. Whatever the hell that is. This game makes me think of Restricted Area, which is a game from 1999, I think, uh, which really tried to be Cyberpunk Diablo, and it sucked real bad. Like, it was half-finished and uh, ridiculously balanced. So, I really hope this one is better. I just need to go to the node. What's this? Here I go, bumping into everyone again. Anyone else want to talk about ice cream? <laughs> oh, hi. You want to meet your dead relatives? Beautiful. 
I don't want to mess around with people who are seven levels above me. Not yet. Really? Really? Okay, they're shooting each other. Wait, that's where I need to go. High Street, locked. Unlocked. Let me in. Let me the hell in. I can hack those with ice one. See, this is the kind of thing I'm talking about. Like, ridiculous bugs. It's not even gonna close, right? Okay. Double charge. Not yet. Let's get this. The boss's meeting is set to take place at the art gallery in the grinder. Go and secure the area. Okay, that still means... oh. I am not fighting you. Go away. Can I go down? Oh. Never mind. Music's great though. I think you can holster your weapon now. <coughs> Don't know any more than you, just go about your day. Okay, I just hope that the game loop itself gets better. This is the feed with your very own great Caution. Beware of augmentation. Do not imbibe anything offered by strangers. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, it looks good. Um, what? Gear up. I already did all that. I'll do it later. Uh, locations. Rooftops. These walkways crisscross the Hubstack rooftops to connect Cluster 13 with Stimtown and Gratitude. Though an effective shortcut, some Habers shy away from moving about here after the end of the shift. A recently completed bridge, and unfortunately, retroactively and accidentally uncompleted, <laughs> was meant to greatly speed up the commuting. 
A header is someone living in the habitation stack, the most common form of living space allocated to most indents. Okay. Uh, take the lift. Access harness. Access harness is an armor piece, right? Yeah. Mm, no, I don't like it. We'll sell it later. To Vixie. Eh. You read 10 data pads. Yay, component. What's this for? Oh, great. I love it how everything is so clear. By the way, is the golden new? Because I haven't heard of it until recently. I need to get through. What is a... Ah, a P1 protector is another one of these. Yeah, now I have two. Well, he did say kill everyone who looks at me funny. Yeah, also aiming is weird. Where'd you go? Components
All good? And the insane red light all the time. I can't see anything. Pearl's Hotel and Bar. What's that? The hell was that? What if I shoot it? Those are energy modules. Yeah, I should use the powers more. And insane leashing. Ow. Money, money, money. What's this? Nothing. I mean, look at all the health pickups I'm just ignoring. Two vipers are becoming more and more aggressive, and it feels like they'll actually have control of the rooftops as well as as well soon we'll have to start thinking about pulling back to the blossom hills soon but uh Will this give me health again? Nope, that's energy. The drive through. Nah. At least it's not invisible walls. There's the bridge.
Okay. Let's focus. ATM doesn't break. So much trash. Another P1 protector. Wait, did I pick up the... I didn't. Very important, 10 credits. Come on, move! Ah, tactical charge. Gerdud is a Hortian Temple of Souls, and this is where they come to express their never-ending, heartfelt appreciation to the cosmos for having allowed them to exist. Here they also meet to exchange near-death experiences and marvel at having survived yet another cycle. Other Indians have less respect for the area and many throw their trash here, but this doesn't become the Hortians as they consider anything thrown at them which doesn't kill them a gift. Hab Stack. A habitation stack is the most is what most Indians call home. Each stack contains a multitude of habitation units designed to cater to the bare needs of an organic being. Hab stacks are organized into stack clusters and controlled by a stack boss, backed up by a control S SI. Okay. What's this? Ice one. Hmm. I'm guessing this is what they call uh, for backtracking. I hate backtracking. Welcome to gratitude. No, oh, come on. Made an enemy drop an explosive grenade. Joggers? Is 
so many adults. I want to hack everything. Oh! That hurt! That hurt! Go to the grinder district. Oh my god! Maybe I shouldn't go here right now. Level 4 is I can handle. Those are probably tougher. <laughs> right, this one's locked. Okay. Now that we've had our fun. Wait, what's up here? Stop pissing me off. I can take level fives. Tactical charge. Covers. Yeah, I get it. They also added cover shooting for this. Which is neat. I'll tell you that. I'll, gi I'll give him that. Lovely. Oh, he's still standing though.
Who else? Who else wants some? I am level four. Yeah, I like this more than getting cover. This will make me think about this X Invisible Wall. Well, the best gun in the game is the fully upgraded pistol. The, the pistol you get at the start of the game, once you fully upgrade it, it's the best weapon. More and more trash. I am in gratitude. Just, you thought we wouldn't find out? You don't just up and leave with the two vipers. I guess we'll find you and when they do, they'll, they'll get the message. Picked up a skill point. Maybe it's time to level up. Okay, maybe I should upgrade my vital signs a bit. Let's make that two. And upgrade my aiming. Balance. Mm, let's do a bit more evasion. And do give me more aiming. Let's get aiming as high up as I can. As, oh, as early as I can. Oh, that's a sign for vending machines. Got it. I blew a leg off. I already have that one. Where the hell am I going? Night Road. Probably not where I need to be. Let's try and focus a bit more. First, I'm gonna go to that yellow dot 
and get me another side quest. Stop exploring every nook and cranny because there's a lot of them. Well, shit, I guess what they said was true. The Hotians actually worship in the trash. How about that? Says a lot about them, about everyone else. Don't know what to make of this, honestly. Next up is the Edge of the Arcology in the Grinder. Okay, but I'm heading toward my main mission. I think I'm getting better at the aiming thing. Don't stand around the red barrels, guys. Not good for your health. Next, more venting machines. Anyone else? Dread! Hello! Okay. Secondary. Dread. More powerful, but less rounds per second, more DPS. Let's give it a shot. As they say. Holy shit, it's devastating. It's freaking accurate. I love it. That ascender I was talking to, Selene, one of their rising stars. They think this thing will blow over and the ascent group will be restored. Joke's on them. Ow. Right, this one's ducking. More dread. Stuff to pick up. Oh. 
just think, if I just upgrade this a little bit, how ridiculous would it be? I think my main complaint right now is why the hell isn't the camera turning? It should really be turning. Of course. Nature is found on the archaeology outskirts and the area is dominated by two large production facilities run by Aitco and BioChoice Pharma. In between these gigantic factories can be found a variety of small markets and back alley clubs, as well as dark back streets and rough areas where regular habers don't venture. A capsule hotel serves those habless still on contract, and a few business travelers unfortunate not to visit the area. No Man's Land has long been a dangerous area, situated as it is between the Turbo Vipers and Liquid Quicks. It served as an unofficial boundary between their turfs and was rarely entered, except to settle duels or to conduct sneak attacks. With the Turbo Vipers now in escalated conflict with the Liquid Quicks, the Vipers have managed to claim the area and the zone has been marked, has seen a marked rise in activity. Okay, overwhelming lethal force, got it. They're all gone. But there was still some left. Gotcha. I see ya. More for me to sell. I really hope this is what I needed to do. Notice, do not feed or eat the animals. <laughs> we are running low on many species. Where you at? The grinder is no fucking playground. Corpsec rarely bothers, and the place is ruled by creeps and assholes, all of them armed to the teeth. Yeah, I see him. Riot gun. What is a riot gun? Shotgun. No nonsense, 10 gauge shotgun is always nice to keep in handy for close encounters. Jam it under someone's chin and blast away too much guaranteed satisfaction. Uh, sure. Only four rounds. No, this is for close quarters. 
I see you hiding on it though. Handyman backpack. Great. Ah, damn it. God damn, this thing is hard to reload. Yeah, I don't like it. Give me a sniper level or something. Two hundred tactical charge. Okay, focusing. Uh, I'm focusing. Swear I am focusing. That was an explosion. Ow. Ow. Okay. I'm thinking more evasion, a lot more aiming. Focusing. Yes. Ow. There's a thing on the thing. How do I get the thing? Yeah. There's the stairs. It's locked, isn't it? No, it's not locked. Cyberdeck upgrade! Woohoo! Cyberdeck Peacemaker CD Can hack toots!
So that I can just drop. Yeah, range is annoying. Oh my god, there we go. What's this? This looks interesting. Okay, kill it. Oh, what the hell, man? Automated defenses. Automated defense systems come in a wide variety of shapes and forms. You'll find them out on the streets inside any herb, factory, or facility in need of any kind of protection. Many are focused on dealing with feral infestations, but most are also calibrated for bipedal and other threats. With the ascent group collapse, many of these systems have gone into default mode, assuming that anything approaching them is hostile. But while their stationary nature makes them an, into less of a threat, they can still be a nuisance, especially if they happen to kill you, but a reasonably skilled hacker with a cyber deck might be able to subvert them to their own agenda. Oh. Joggers. <laughs> Living let us know tomorrow the joggers love things that go bang, whether it be a modded 10 gauge or a random fuse grenade. Collateral damage means little to these red eyed hab crazies, and neither does your life. What's my aiming beam? Grinder. While Stintown is frequented by all sorts of habbers, only those involved in truly shady business would ever risk entering the grinder. Here, life is cheaper than a candy bar, and a glance at the wrong way could see you f flatlined in a blink. The entire area is doused in shadows due to perpetual problems with the power supply, and the lack of proper lighting only reinforces the shady aura of the place. Needless to say, corpse can only enter if they absolutely have to, and often not even then. They'd rather falsify a patrol report than risk their lives. Some have set up permanent residences here, and several gangs constantly vie for dominance of the bulk trade in contraband, much of which later finds its way to Stintown or the Node. Part of the grinder was once intended to be an atrium for the low habers, and it was originally named Tranquility Park, a discerning eye might still spot the remains of a rotting plant or two in some murky corner, but the gangs claimed the area long ago and made it their own. Adjacent to the atrium is a gallery of sorts, was the Galaxy of Source was erected, intended to showcase corporate art and reinforce the company's spirit. This gallery has since become the abode of the local drug lord. Home talking! We just learned that the Turbo Vipers are going all in! They've sent a bunch of amped up stim brutes and they're leash holding full crones into the grinder to disrupt the moot! I'm counting on you! Kill the Fulcrums, the Fulcrums. Ow.
Check your radar, clear sights, 360 vision. How the hell did they throw so far? That's energy, I think. I will give them that this place is huge. Can't see anything. Oh my god, it's striking! That's one. A full chrome in any given group there's always that one guy who takes things too far. A full chrome is that guy. Little remains of their weak flesh. If not for the occasional patch of skin and steroid pumped muscle, they'd be considered full cyborgs. Their abundance of enhancements make them into natural leaders and they might call on reinforcements if needed. Their advanced augmentations also come with nanite repair protocols, making them very hard to put down. Okay. Let's start from the bottom. Still there, right? A grenade launcher? RPG launcher. Rocket launcher. RPG one RPG twenty three. Type physical? Okay. Let's try it. I see him. Damn, these are nasty. P 
20 mech tech pants. The hell are those? <coughs> I do some my evasion in case there's lower body protection than pretty much everything else. Ah, bring it. I'm guessing that was number three. All my stats are full. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, I think that's everything. What about that bonus you promised me? Boss battle! What? Where are you going? Ah! I'm locked in, bastards! I need some health boosts. Nah. Actually, that's a lot of, a lot of defense. Nah. There, meeting done. 
raging success. The other bosses are on board. We'll begin coordinating our cluster SIs and redistributing vital supplies in a few hours. We still have plenty of work to do, but this is as good a start as we could hope for. But who the flaming fuck were those amped up flatliners? Damn it! I need more problems about as much as I need a rectum on my forehead. <laughs> and yes, I know there are a few evolutionary dead ends like that around, but you get my drift. Someone's pinging me. Hang on. Pony here. Yes. Yes. No. Fuck. That was Admin Denker. While we were splooging all over ourselves here, someone went and grabbed a whole bunch of habbers. My habbers! Seems the attack here was a diversion for the kidnapping. I gotta get back. Don't stray too far! I have a feeling we'll need your help again soon. Are you paying me? Level up. Heads? Anyone? Cuts. Um. Uh, get up, get back through here. Track that. What was that? Uh. Great. Okay. Uh, I need some health. I need somebody's health. Not just anybody's health. Oh here, we're in deep shit. Figuratively this time. I need you and your taste for murder and mayhem to come and see me at the Serenity. Stat. The interlink. The interlink maglev chains connect the angel zones in our ecology. Departure times vary, vary some, some across the different shifts, but are regular enough that waiting times are usually low. With security being somewhat sketchy on board the trains and around stations, more affluent havers tend to use other means of transport. Euclid. Universal credit, the standard currency on Velis and in the common. I would like to track that. Is that the... Double trouble? No. Install VR camera in the grinder. Which is pretty nice. And it's not attacking. Wonderful. Does this open? Aha! Bert, I'm effed. 
Oh, these are pedals that got me cornered. Can hear them cursing outside. Gonna call in a favor. I hid my dad's weapon over in gratitude, a storage in an abandoned pizzeria. Look for Linus Pizza Palace. Get it and give it to Iris. Want her to have something to remember me by. Last I heard, she's working some micro joint in cluster 13. F, they're breaking down the. I love this gun. Locked Ice One. Hello. No. Oh. I have monocle. Gun is positively ridiculous. What the hell is going on here? Okay, not my business. Well, goddamn, this pole is just so freaking big, isn't it? All because of this massive ecology. Can't say I missed out on that walk. Now get me into Umbilical and High Street. What is this? Oh, that's the train! Right? I mean, right, right? Uh, legend? Train station, yeah. Loot. I missed loot. I missed loot. How could this happen? How could I miss loot? Ah, damn it! Fine. Probably be back here later. I wonder if machines I destroy stay destroyed. Okay. 
That's the train station. Uh, cluster 13. You rode the Interlink Express! Okay. Go left to find the train, to find the loot. Oh, I can see it on my map. I still. Mother effer. Okay. Gear up. Fine, let's do gear up. Can't get worse. Browse chrome. First of all, let's sell. And this, yes, and this, yes. Hmm. No, I'll keep the protection. EMP grenade, shockwave grenade. Upper body, sell one of this, and then sell this, and then sell this. Weapons, sell the PPU, PPW, all of them. Sell all the dreads I'm not using, keep one protector, and sell the riot gun. Okay, now we have money. Hydraulic slam, lock on fire, hyper focus. I don't really see the need for it right now. What about you? The dread. RPG launcher, and then more dread. And leave that. Weapons shop. This cut will meet like butter. Let's talk. Flatliner. Okay, um... Loadout. Secondary. Who are you looking to flatline? Yeah, my dread is... I thought the neon dread. The protector. More damage. Slower to fire. I prefer that. Knockback. A 
a lot more knockback, a lot more reload time. That's what I don't like. Eighteen to twenty-five, thirty-two, forty-one. Why is this so expensive? Energy damage! EP4 packs, plenty of punch in a small frame package, often found among more discerning CGTs and well founded planetary defense forces. It does energy damage. I need to think about that. Enemies. But they don't tell me what they're resistant to or not. Which is helping me exactly how. I'm supposed to know what to use on who. Grenade. Or stasis drone. How much is the flag? How much is the flag grenade? Fourteen thousand. I have the rocket launcher now, I'm not sure I need it. And armor vendor. Can I just save? No. We could just get out of the way. Yay. Anything that improves my aim? No? Faraday Skull Bucket. Gives me a lot more protection and a little bit less aim. Flatline of Combat Hood. E20 tech vest. E20 kill ball vest. Slab walker chest plate. Bike saddle. This is lower body protection. It's expensive evasion. More energy. Okay. Access to restricted area of the morgue. Locate the hidden stash. Didn't you point me, like, over here? It's in gratitude. So I need to go to Nitro Rad. It's the Metro. Nitro Rad. That case might be officially off grid, but you can bet your sweet ass he's still hooked up to the tangle somehow. Oh, 
get the fuck out of here. Where the hell did you go? I'm gonna have to go through you. God damn you sneaking on me from behind. That was good. Oh, that's what I'm wearing. Cannot miss loot. There must be loot. Ha ha! Don't know what that is. Ooh! Fire damage. Lots of knockback. Hmm. Nine skill points. Oh, there are levels of components. Uh, yeah, let's work on that reload. And maybe more tactical sense. This gun is just nasty. So what am I looking for? The Dovehead mentions the line of Pizza Palace as a resting place of the relic. There is an abandoned pizzeria with that name 
at the end of the gratitude. Is this it? If you want to find out, you don't just stop and leave the turbo vipers. Yeah, I saw that. Linus Pizza Palace. At the end of gratitude. That's, I think, Korean. Thai. I need to go down. Okay. bit more. Locate the hidden stash. Maybe it's not on this level either. Yeah, that hurts. And this is Pizza Palace. Old gun engraving Iris. Probably can't use it, right? Speak with Iris. Pfizer, no. Also, no. Legs, mm, only one. Bounty. Yeah, bounties. Got it.
Get away from the civvies. Nug Gadgeteer. You'd be tempted to laugh at the idea of a Nug with a portable mortar, but you might die smiling. Your body blasted into bloody pieces by a perfectly aimed shell. Not only do the Carlins love to tinker with anything they get their hands on, properly motivated they can be quite efficient killers. They can be hard to hit too. As they hide their diminutive bodies behind the mortars, they lug around. Make sure to aim low. Maybe I should have taken the train. Get out of here. Again with the red glare.
two rockets from two directions at the same time. I have this guy. Good. That's I'll it. The database. Only a thousand. Bounty. Claim the bounty. What can I get you? What's this piece of junk? Wait, my dad gave this to you? Wait, what's the engraving say? Iris? Named after me? Ah! Oh! Alright, I'll take it. And I guess you'll want to find those fee. This is what I can spare. Oh, I can trade you for this holdout piece. Never used it. Hmm, holdout piece? Give me the weapon. Level 9. 8 Co. 8 Co is one of the few larger corporations run by Jack Lands with no Afran or even Sapiens involved. More of an advanced pyramid scheme than a corporation as such, it still presents itself as a respectable entity. It is known that 8Co operates multiple manufacturing plants both in the squat and inside some of the larger ecologies. These plants employ only Carl and Walkers, who copy, while slightly altering, existing templates of weapons, armor, and even have items with great enthusiasm. Most of these have signed away their lives to the Jacklands, but they don't care as long as they get to tinker with new stuff. Iris. Trying her very best to not follow in the footsteps of her notorious father, Iris is making her way as a waitress at a small joint in Stimptown, but the blood will not be denied, and her father knew it when he made an heirloom to her of his favorite rifle. It remains to be seen whether Iris will step into his augmented boots to become a cold-hearted flatliner after all. It's not as if her current gig pays very well anyway. Like father, like daughter, right? Okay, let's speak with the stack boss. But... What did she give me? Scorcher. Nice! Fire shotgun. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna assume it's saved, so this is gonna be it for today, that's 4 hours in, thank you for watching, see you next time, stay good, have fun.